Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a lot of things. My house is a wreck. I just got back from a trip to Jamaica. My house is all over the place. I have no groceries. I'm gonna be doing a grocery haul. I'm gonna be cooking, trying to do a shelf cooking meal here right now so that my family can eat something tonight. And I'm gonna be sharing all of that with you, cleaning the whole house, everything. So stay tuned, subscribe if you are new. Sorry if it's loud. Come here. Okay, you want them off? Okay. I am going to do a meal kind of like Mississippi pot roast. I don't have everything for that, but. I want a Okay. All right, so I had everything on hand. Um, I'm gonna start by putting a chuck roast down in the crock pot. This one should have been cooked yesterday. So, we're gonna cook it today. I think, yeah. Hopefully everything will be okay. All right, then we're gonna put a stick of butter on top. We're gonna sprinkle ranch seasoning and lifted onion soup mix. We're gonna cook it on low. Then tonight, we're gonna shred it and eat it with rice. All right, this is what looks like I'm just gonna do like a little bit of water. All right, now we're gonna cook it on low all day long. Kind of freaked out how that got in here. Shoot. I don't wanna kill him. Can they fly? Okay. All right. All right, here's our next project. I'm super excited about this comforter that we are gonna put in my son's room. My son's room is actually like an add-on to the house um, before we bought it and so it does not get the best coolness, like cooling from the air conditioner and so his room tends to be hotter than the other ones and so this comforter is going to help a lot. Um, the comforter, the brand is called Rest. Um, it is actually a cooling comforter and so I thought that that would be perfect for him because he does like to have a blanket but he does not want to be hot and I thought that this would solve that problem. 
Okay, so review of this comforter. We are absolutely loving it. I love that it is lightweight, but it is also very cooling. Um, you do not get cold underneath it, but it cools to the touch. It also helps if you are somebody that sweats in the night. It helps to deter any of the moisture. It's machine washable, so you can fit it into your washing machine, hypoallergenic and non-toxic as well. All right, y'all, so here is the comforter. It is super soft, like incredibly soft. If y'all remember those like squishy, like microfiber pillows that used to be popular like 20 years ago, this is what that feels like. It's super cold and soft to the touch. Like any spot that you touch is cold. And that's exactly what I wanted for him. Um, you can see that it is thin but it's cooling at the same time so he's not going to get too hot in this there is a lighter gray and a darker gray and there actually is a blue comforter as well I went with the grade I went with the gray just because his room is pretty neutral um, and I thought that it would work best but I'm super excited about this thank you so much to rest for partnering with me in today's video I'm gonna be leaving a link for this in the description box as well as a discount code for you to be able to use and get one for yourself <laughs> is it soft Yeah. feels cool right Think you're gonna like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's super soft. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let this little guy do his job. <laughs> Remember, if you want to grab this, I'll put a link in the description box with a discount code. You can grab one of these yourself. They come in all sizes. Me? This is the queen version that we got. to start by picking up all of the random toys and things around the house and then my goal for today is to be able to vacuum and sweep everywhere in the house so that I can effectively mop and have clean floors my whole entire house is basically hardwood floor and tile so I have to mop um, it takes me quite a bit of time and if I don't sweep and get everything picked up I cannot mop so that is my goal for today am changing the sheets on my bed today um, my husband had a nosebleed so I am also gonna wash those pillows in the washing machine with some bleach and let them dry but I changed my sheets today I try to do that at least once a month I'd like to do it sooner but sometimes it's just hard for me to get that done and then when I am done with my bed I'm going to start unpacking from my trip I am somebody that struggles to get unpacked after trips and so I am making myself get it all done today so that I can put these suitcases away. Okay, I'm gonna link these down below. They are like window cloths. You just put water on them and then you can clean all of the fingerprints off.
Good. Get every single square. Good job. Okay, y'all, I have tried a whole lot of cleaners um, and I absolutely love this. You have probably seen it all over TikTok. That's how I found it. Um, there is like a, like a spray. There's like a scrub. Um, I just use a regular sponge. This cleans everything. White surfaces, spotless. Um, I've just been using it in my bathroom. So as you can see, I have a lot of toothpaste. Um, it kills bacteria, so I just give it a good spray. And then I take a rag, and I start wiping everything down. Hey guys, I just ate chicken nuggets with Chick-fil-A sauce for my little lunch. And now I'm gonna tackle this room. <sighs> Normally I would have my daughter do it, but she did a lot of mopping for me. And really, I just need to do this. It's so bad. I've got to do it. So, come along. Okay, now for my favorite part, which is mopping. Just kidding. I do not like mopping at all. I have different ways that I mop depending on like the mood I'm in. So what I'm doing today is just the basic spin mop. I love this thing. It's 40 bucks, comes with everything you need. Really cheap, really easy. There's my clothes. Since my kitchen floor is so dirty, I'm gonna do my steam mop in here. In my spin mop though, what I do is I fill it with water, I do like a tablespoon of bleach and a tablespoon of powdered tide. It works so easily, like it gets everything off. It's really cheap. So if you have a spin mop, give that a try. It really works. I'm gonna do my steam mop. I'm gonna leave it down below. You can just use water. Sometimes I'll spray like 
multi-purpose spray down on the floor and mop over it. Um, but I'll show you what I do. So the only downside is that you have to plug this in. And the final aftermath. Clean, dirty. So, that's why I love this thing. It gets all of the grime off the ground. You just take it off, pop it in the washer, and reuse it. So I did noodles instead of rice because I didn't have any rice, but this is what it looks like shredded. Finally getting around to doing all of these dishes they have been sitting for about 24 hours now so it's gonna take me a while to get all of these cleaned up and then I'm gonna wipe off my counters and then I will be able to sit down and start thinking about my meal planning for the week and do my grocery haul for the weekend I do it here on this. Sometimes I do it in my phone, 
Um, but whenever I'm trying to like use my pantry, I usually write it down. I make a list over here. Here is like actually what we're eating for dinner. For lunch, we do leftovers or we eat in the cafeteria. My husband and I are both there at the same school. My kids are there. Uh, I get like sandwich stuff for the kids, chips, um, bananas, apples, oranges, stuff like that. For breakfast, my kids eat at school. Uh, my daughter eats breakfast at school, like we bring it. So I just get like granola bars, yogurt, stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna do taco soup one night. Um, I have these packets from Thrive that look really, really good. They're Southwest taco sauce. So I'm gonna do this in the crock pot for tacos one night. On Wednesdays, we usually eat at church. Um, Thursday night, my husband has a game. So I don't usually cook that night just to make it easier on me. So I'm gonna get some type of like frozen meal for us. Friday night we go to the football game or if we don't go cause it's away, we'll just do like frozen pizzas. Saturday, I'm gonna get ground beef and I'll be able to make something at home with it. And then Sunday, which is today, um, I'm gonna do like this rice and quinoa with sausage, tomato, kind of like make it like a jambalaya thing. All right, so I went in town to the Berkshire Brothers and the Dollar General. Um, I did not plan ahead and do the grocery pickup like I wanted to. Um, so I went to Dollar General first because it's cheaper and I spent $119.49. So um, I got like some, um, cold items and like shelf items like toilet paper, laundry soap, stuff like that. Then I went to Berkshire Brothers, which is expensive, um, and I only got stuff that they had there and I spent $49.52. So I got like produce, um, had to buy a lot of meat. I bought like four pounds of ground beef and they were each like $7 each. But I'm gonna show you what I got. All right, here's what I got. Uh, shredded lettuce, bananas, sausage, Roma tomatoes, uh, bell pepper, onion. My kids like this with ranch. One of my yogurts busted, so I set that there. Two gallons of milk uh, is what we go through in the week. Flour tortillas and taco seasoning. Hot sauce, sour cream. This was actually only $2, so I grabbed this one. I got raisins for my kids' lunch. Um, stick butter, regular butter, two things of corn. Yogurt for lunches. I really love Skinny Pop, so I got those for me. Apple juice and a de, um, laundry detergent. I got three things of chips, which were very expensive. Ketchup, two ranch packets, goldfish, toilet paper, uh, paper towels. Two things of bread is usually what we go through in the week. Two frozen pizzas. I got this for my daughter's hair. We're ran out. I'm trying this for the, for the first time. Um, some of y'all answered in my Facebook group, like your favorite cleaning products. And this was a popular one and it was only like a dollar. And then I got this for my kids to take a bath and then dishwasher um, soap. So. Yep, basically $170 right here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Stay tuned for next week's video. I'm going to be doing a morning routine for a busy working mom and share all about how I get my kids up and ready and out the door in the morning. I will leave all of the video details down below and the link for the comforter in the description box with a discount. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Give this a thumbs up, a like, and a share if you did. I will see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.